Alright everyone, my name is Tom, and today I'm going to be starting a new project here, and I will be working with the Studio 5000's Logic Designer software, and the name of this video is Starting a New Project. I'm going to get started here, and I'm going to scroll down here a little bit and show you the materials for today's project. Now I have changed the materials here. It should be an Ellen Bradley Compact Logix controller, but I will be using the Studio 5000 Logix Designer software. And as usual, I give you the link to the website to where you can find these items. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit further and show you the description here. It's a very brief description, basically telling you that I'm going to be starting a new project in the Studio Logix 5000 Designer software. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit to step one. In step one, I will show you how to open up the software. And when you do, you should have this splash screen that appears. And as you can see, there are many different ways of opening up a project here. You can create a project, open a project, or open a recent projects. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit further to step two. Here in step two, we'll be selecting the processor and saving the project. And let me scroll down a little bit further here. It shows you where we will be saving the project. Now you can save the project onto an external drive, such as I have done. You can save it to the computer or laptop, whatever you're using, or you can save it to a network. I'm gonna scroll down here a little bit further. And this will be selecting the processor values, such as the revision. And if you're using control logics, you'll have a chassis, so you'll have to select exactly where the processor will be placed in the chassis. And you also select if you need security. And then once you're all done and it looks good, you can click the finish button and you will be finished and you should have your project open in the window. Now that completes starting a new project here. So we're gonna to go to the hands-on from here. Okay, we're back now with the hands-on portion of the video. And I'm on my desktop right now because I wanna show you a couple of different ways to open the software. First, we have the desktop icon here. And I also place an icon here on my taskbar. But you can always come over here to the start button here and click on it and scroll all the way down to the Rockwell software. And if you expand this folder, you can see there's an awful lot going on in here, but it is in alphabetical order. So if you scroll down all the way towards the bottom, you will see Studio 5000. So if you click any one of these icons like that, the splash screen will pull up. And in the splash screen, you can see there are multiple ways of opening up a project here. First of all, you can create a new project under Create. Next, you can create from an import. And next, you can create from a sample project. Now, if I come over here to the Open, you can open an existing project. You can open a sample project or you can open a project from an upload. So in other words, you are uploading the project from the controller into the software. Next, you can open recent projects also. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come up here to new project and click here. Now after clicking on the new project, I have the new project window here. And on the left side in the tree here, I have Factory Talk View. If I click on that, you can see that that's for the HMIs. And if I come down here and click on Logix, this gives me all my Logix controllers. This one is, this group here is Compact Logix. So I'll close that up and show you Control Logix. And we have Guard Logix. 
and also the Emulate 5000 controller. Now I'm going to come back up here to Compact Logix and expand that since the controller that I will be using today is going to be the 1769 L33ER Compact Logix 5370 controller. So I'm going to click the here and that highlights it. But if you come down here to the bottom where it says next or finish, both of these buttons are grayed out. So there's a piece of information that I need to add here, and that's the name. So what I'm going to do now is give the project a name. And I'm going to place a space in between. As you can see, I have a red line all around the name box there. And that is because I have an underscore there, and it's waiting for more text afterwards. I'm going to call it Project 1A. And I'm going to come down here to Location. Now I can browse for a location and select where I want to place this project. It can either be on the hard drive or it can be an external hard drive or even on a network. So I'm going to leave it where it's at. So I'm going to press Cancel. Then I'm going to press Next. And that brings up this window here, which is for the Compact Logix controller, the L. 33 ER and it's asking me for a revision number. Since I only have revision 24 on this, I'm going to leave it at that. And here you can select the security authority here using this drop down. And also you can add a description here of the project. But I'm going to click finish here. And it's Starting to compile the program. And the project is beginning to compile. As you can see, it's still compiling. My cursor here is still a circle turning around and around. So that means that the project has compiled. Now the project is up. And you can see now in the controller organizer, I have controller project underscore 1A. Up at top here, I have the software, which is Logix Designer, the project name of project 1A, along with the controller name 1769-L33ER, along with the revision number, which is 24.11. So that's the end of this project. So if you like what you see, leave a comment leave a message. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.